this week I'm just going to do a short video um, just showing how the kickstart goes together on the, on a pit bike this one's out of a ZS155 but the procedure is the same for all pit bikes and this is the order I've laid this out as it goes on to the shaft um, and, but it is a specific way that they go on and I'll show you now Hi and welcome back to Emina Motorcycles home of the motorcycle fixture which is me um, thank you very much for watching my videos if you do like what you see please hit the like button and subscribe because it helps me make the videos okay the first thing that we fit is this circle clip this circle clip goes into this first groove on the splines so we're just going to use our circuit pliers put this over make sure that it's in place and it can't slip back and forth next is our uh, kickstart um, I don't really know what to call this um, and this fits on these splines this is important see this dimple uh, I think you can see it there that dimple has to line up with this dimple there see if you can see it that that is the important part about building your kickstart shaft it has to line up and if you can see I don't know it's difficult to see but this dimple here on the on this shaft has to line up with the dimple on this part so at the moment it seems like it's like in between splines but that's as close as you can get it but it's important that otherwise your kickstart won't work properly this point dimple has to line up with the dimple on this part then you can fit the spring then this spacer and this is held on with another circlip so we we'll try and hold that hold this in place and put this circlip on there check that the circlip is in the groove all the way round and that's correct so next we have this quadrant here now this quadrant here as has also has a dimple on it it's difficult really to see but there's a dimple here it's more or less in line with this part where the spring fits um, I don't know you may be able to see it there see the dimple there that dimple is a, is the same and it has to line up with this dimple here on the shaft again So it's very difficult to see but the dimple on this part is now in line with the dimple on the shaft. This is important because these, these parts, this sits against um, the stop for the kickstart and this 
is inside the engine against the casing. So these have to be in the correct place for the orientation of the kickstart to turn and then come back to the correct position. Okay, so the next part but on is the spring. That sits in there. So the spring then goes on, sits. I don't know if you can, there we are. That spring sits against there. Next we have another spacer, sits on the spring. Then we have this washer, goes in here. And then we have this last circlip. which we fit on with our circuit pliers. Make sure that it's in the groove all the way round. There you have it. And then this spacer goes on and that spacer is the one that sits on the casing to stop these splines running on the casing inside the engine. So then this is fitted into your casing like so. It, um, I've previously done the video where I fitted this shaft into the casing. So for the next step, you can watch that video. Okay, nice short video today. Uh, just the assembly of the kickstart shaft. Okay, thank you for watching the video. And if you've got all the way through it, please like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me in the future to make more videos. Thank you very much.